Okay, so I want to welcome everybody who's here at our Google Hangout. We're going to get started in just one moment, but uh, for those of you early birds that got here, I want to congratulate you for finding the URL, first of all, and I'm really excited to be sharing the information that we're going to be today. Uh, I'll get more into it as we get officially started, but we're going to teach you how to mine Facebook uh, of its billion users for specific leads and specific clients and really uh, really explode your business with new clients all on the back of Facebook's billion users. So it's something that you can absolutely do. It's something that the big gurus are doing to bank tens of thousands of dollars daily, quite literally. And this is something that should be available to the common business person. It's not, and it will be today. So I want to urge you to stick with us, and uh, we'll get started here in just one moment. I've got 11 o'clock, so this uh, webinar should officially start. I think what I should do is first introduce our guests that are on the webinar this morning. I'm going to start with uh, Gail Allen. Gail is a certified yoga instructor in the vinyasa style, and she's, uh, reg uh, she's registered with the Yoga Alliance. She's been a practitioner in various styles of yoga for the past 11 years, and she teaches village yoga uh, at, in Potomac, Maryland, and at Thrive Yoga in Rockville, Maryland. She also sees clients out of her home studio by appointment, and she was formerly a law attorney. She realized that her true passion revolved around family, friends, and sharing her love of yoga with others. Unlike the legal profession, yoga taught her how to live in the present and nurture a sense of balance both physically and mentally, and she really enjoys sharing these yoga gifts with others. So I'm really pleased that you're here today, Gail. Thank you much. Thank you. Glad to be here. Thanks. The second uh, uh, guest that we have today is a uh, marketing consultant for a nutritional website, uh, Sue G. We welcome her. She's participating in our online webinar and we're really fortunate to have her here. She pretty much represents everybody else who's on this as fitness, wellness, and nutrition ex uh, at participants and website owners and she's looking to build her uh, her clientele on the power of Facebook as well. So welcome to you, Sue. Thank you so much for hosting this. We really appreciate this. Absolutely. My pleasure. So I want to explain to everybody specifically what we're doing here and this is a really really cool deal in that we're going to mine Facebook of its users of its billion users we're actually going to find individuals that are out there looking for us believe it or not and we're gonna put promoted posts from our Facebook pages right under their noses so this is a super cool technique as I started out the seminar, if you just got here late, this is a technique that is being used by Ryan Dice and Frank Kern and other large major internet marketers and they're literally banking tens of thousands of dollars with this technique. Not too many people know about it. It's been reserved for the lucky few and I'm going to spill the beans on it with you guys here today. And I'm going to urge you to stay with me. I see we've got uh, Let's see. Well, this is awesome. We've got several hundred people on this webinar right now, which is great. You guys are really lucky because you're going to get this information. And I hope when I look uh, at those numbers towards the end of the webinar that everybody's still here because I'm saving one of the best techniques of this procedure until last. So you're you're definitely going to lose out if you if you fall off or uh, aren't able to stay to the end. So. What we're going to start out is just basically telling you what you're going to need to get started. And that is we're going to have to have the free Google Chrome browser. We're going to be using a thing called the Power Editor that's found within your Facebook ads. And it is only available in the Chrome browser. I will also let you know that at the bottom of this page, you can see that you can enter questions as we go for myself or Sue or Gail and all you need to do is go to the very bottom line of that chat box and enter your question. It'll ask you to register but you don't have to. You can just go in anonymously as you've seen that some users have already done and I've already covered one question that says can we use Face, uh, can we use Internet Explorer Firefox to do, the, to do this and unfortunately you cannot. You will have to have the free Google Chrome browser. So what we're going to do is we're basically just going to go into our, uh, once we have the Chrome browser, I'll be showing you how to do this. 
Uh, we're going to let me get to screen share here. I'm sorry, back to my hangout. Uh, I'm going to continue on and basically explain the steps and then we'll do them. We're going to install the Power Editor application and then once you launch the Power Editor, uh, it basically just installs itself. So uh, we'll create a post in our Facebook account that, that will have a link to our sales page or our website or an opt-in page and we're going to determine who our ideal customer is, who we want to add as our client. We, we literally get a pick this. This is fantastic. And then we're going to accomplish that by mining their Facebook ID. And you'll see this process is a little bit, it, it, it can take a little bit of time, but we're going to show you very quickly how you can do this faster, easier, and far more efficient. So you'll want to be sure to stick with us. And then we'll just create and upload a custom audience within Facebook ads. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do that now. I'm going to go over to screen share. Sue or Gail, do you have any questions before I get started here? Uh, just one question. Uh, yeah. You mentioned this is to grab uh, clients from Facebook. Is this um, people who have Facebook page or Facebook groups? It doesn't matter. If you have a Facebook ID you, uh, and uh, able to post to Facebook, this is for you. Whether you have a group, a page, uh, a company, it just doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to now go to screen share and I'm going to show how this process works. And again, you're going to be blown away with how simple it really is. You would think that since these gurus are using it that it's an impossible mission to, to accomplish, but uh, the beauty of this is in its simplicity. So it's something that uh, you'll be really, really excited to learn. So I'm currently here in my Facebook. I'll go to my personal Facebook page. And you can see, you know, this is interesting. I wasn't planning for this. Can everybody see my screen okay? Yes. Okay. I've just gone to my personal Facebook feed and look at the very top thing in my feed here. This is, this is unbelievable. Uh, and what great timing. Here's Frank Kern. This guy literally makes, he makes $10,000 every single day. And look what he's doing. He's got a feed that he's got sponsored, uh, or a post that he has promoted and sponsored. And look, at, it's showing up in my uh, Facebook feed. He's got a title, some copy, here's his page, and he's got a link that I'm supposed to click, and I guarantee you he's going to get my email address, and he's going to take me to some uh, sales page of his concern. This is exactly what we're going to be doing today. So the first thing we're going to want to do is you're going to go into your Facebook page, and you're going to go to your ads manager. Now, I'm going to do this not as myself, but as uh, a page that I created specifically for this promotion. So I have a page that I created called Fitness Guru, and I'll just hide these demographics. I literally just made this. And I will uh, say that if you do not already have a Facebook page created, you, you probably want to do one. You may not want to do this specifically off of your own private Facebook account. Uh, I like to build a Facebook page so that it's business related and they don't see any posts about my cat or my mom or my family. So I just go in and create uh, a page and uh, once you do so, you'll see you have this walkthrough that tells you, hey, set your profile picture. I can upload my from computer or import it from a website. So I'm not going to go into how we create these Facebook pages because literally they hand they hold your hand through this whole process. So I'm going to skip this and I'm going to hide the all the instructions that they're giving me here. And this would typically be my my profile picture and then I'd have a cover picture here, but I'm going to show you what I'm uh, basically doing. The first thing I'm going to ask you to do is to create a post. And I think most people are going to know how to create a post, but we're going to want to do this in a very special way. When we create a post, we're going to have about two to three lines of text and then a link to either your web page or to wherever you want the user to go, the visitor to go, to your call of action. This could be to a squeeze page, to a sales page, it could be to uh, a, a any kind of opt-in page where you collect their email address before you pass them on to anything else. 
it doesn't matter. That's your business decision to make as to where you want them to go and what you want them to do. So you will want to give that some consideration. So for this particular exercise, I'm just going to put in some some salesy, markety kind of jargon here. I'll say uh, something like, learn how to develop an amazing and this is not very compelling copy but I think you'll you'll understand what I'm talking about so I, I don't want to have any more than maybe two lines of text in this window I'll try to make this a little bit more visible hopefully that'll be more helpful for all of you looking in uh, and the reason is is when I put in my my link here where my call to action is going to be or where I'm going to take them to my website or my opt-in or sales page I'll just take them to the, that the actual ad? .com. You want to make sure this is going to be a hot link once I post it. And you want to make sure that that link is not only working, but it's an effective link where, like I said, you take them where there's an opt-in or something. I like to recover an email address first thing out of the gate. So I'll say, you know, uh, put your email address. I'll have a, a email capture page that urges them to pop in their email address and I'll give them some free PDF or I'll give them a free newsletter or something like that. I like to give them something free for opting in and it, it, it does increase the opt-in rate. But in this case I'm just going to take them straight to my website and then what I want to do is I'm going to hit a hard return here and I want to upload a photo. You can see it Facebook is quite intelligent. It automatically read my URL and found an image there on my web page and suggested one, but I'm not going to use that. I'm going to go ahead and remove that and I'm going to put in my own picture. And the reason why I'm doing this, I like to go onto the internet, typically Google Images, and I like to find photos that are related to my business that are interesting and that uh, that allow others to share and to get a real good social interaction. So what I'm going to do is I found an image uh, earlier that I'm just going to uh, upload here. I saved it to my desktop and you'll see it's basically of this pig on a treadmill and it's uh, somebody trying to uh, refers to somebody that's trying to lose weight that's overweight and I'm just going to create this post going to say post and you'll see it'll upload it here so you see my image it's kind of a low res image I probably choose a better high res image but this is something that somebody's going to like on or comment or otherwise share and that's the beauty of doing this promoted post and I want you to see how simple this is I mean anybody can do this right there, there's no secret sauce in any of this right now, and there, and you'll find that there simply is no secret sauce. It's, it's a technique that people just don't know about, and is working it right now to absolutely kill it for these internet marketers, and we'll do the exact same for your business. So now I've created this post. Guess what? I'm finished. That's all I need to do. Uh, I had a compelling piece of text here. This may not be so compelling, but I urge you to write more compelling text. No more than two or three lines with your hot link, which takes one to a, a call to action. Uh, typically a, buy, a page where it has a buy now link or an email sign up or something. And once you do that, you are basically done with the, the post. So I'm going to go to a wider view here now. And now I need to go into finding my perfect client. So I'm a fitness guy. I'm trying to find others that are interested in fitness or nutrition or wellness. So what better thing to do than to come up here to my, my, my search bar. I'm going to enlarge this one more time. Hopefully make this more visible. Can everybody see my screen okay there? Gail, Sue, do you guys see my screen okay? Yes. Okay, fantastic. I see it. Okay, great. So this doesn't take any computer skills at all. You can see all we've done so far is just created a, a, a cool, intriguing post with a, with a funny or otherwise shareable photo. So I'm trying to find other fitness individuals, fitness-minded individuals. I'm just going to type in 
fitness here and I can see uh, that there's a, a bunch of groups and here's an open group fitness nutrition and high intensity training boy this one has 10,000 members how cool if I could go into that group and actually mine M-I-N-E like a coal miner those users well guess what I can I'm gonna show you how to do that right now here's a shy tongue so this person is actively posting he's a squat if you're uh, high knee dependent on it because it does uh, there's a Renee Isley who's also posting uh, there's Greg Rowe all of these people are highly highly engaged in this fitness program or this fitness page I should say this is actually a group which is perfect and what's so cool about that is that these are not just people that were asked by the owner of this group to go in hey will you like my page these are not simple likes these are folks who are passionate about the fitness industry and who are contributing on these people's group pages and those are red hot leads red hot potential clients so how do I get an ad in front of them that's how what we're here for today I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna look at Greg Rowe I'm gonna click on his ID and if you look up here in this address bar you can see it says www.facebook.com forward slash Greg dot row well all I have to do is copy that and I've got this really cool little technique you go to this website that's called find my Facebook ID dot com find my Facebook ID dot com and you probably never knew this existed it's super cool all you do is paste that username in there click on look up numeric ID and it says unable to look up a numeric ID please try again it, it's not finding that particular user which is typical I'm gonna go ahead and take this whole URL and see if maybe that's gonna help me out if not, I'm going to try to. So, okay, Don, there we go. Don, hey, one question. While you're looking up these IDs, to get these particular clients, you have to do each of this one by one? I'm glad you asked that question, Sue. That's the old way. That's the old way of doing it. And I'm just showing this for, for example's sake because this is one way that it can be done for absolutely free a user or a, 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 an individual could literally come in here I just mine this ID I'm gonna save it to a file that I'll later upload for a, as a custom audience in Facebook so I can put this ad right in front of Greg Rose uh, right into his newsfeed right under his nose but I'm gonna show you a faster simpler and much easier way to do this uh, after I show this process for those individuals that might want to just do this uh, at it. zero cost. Thanks for asking that. So I'm just going to copy this user ID, and all I need to do is put this in Excel into an Excel file. You can see I've found uh, 11 others, so I'll just paste this one into uh, number 12 here, and I could save this file now as a .csv file and I've got a list of Facebook user IDs in lieu of using Excel for those that may not have Microsoft Office you could also just simply put it into a text file I could pop that in there you can see I've got some in here and then it's you're not going showing to... up. Oh, okay let me uh, you're not seeing the text file one second here. okay let me go screen share one more time sorry about that sometimes you have to refresh these uh, screen share options let's see if that did the trick one second here yikes let me go back to here and can you see come on baby pop can you see this text file now I see Greg Rose Facebook um, okay but you can't see a text file Okay, well, for some reason on my Mac, the simple text file. Were you able to see the Excel spreadsheet? No. Okay. Uh, for some reason, those screens don't want to show up. I don't know why, but basically, I'll just tell you in the background what I what I did. Uh, all I all I do is I go through these individuals one by one, and I cut and paste their user IDs that I found from FindMyUserID.com. Okay. I put them into a a uh, text file. And the only thing I really forget about the Excel, you can do this in any text file. 
okay. you just put each user ID on a single line. So you're going to have uh, a user ID, a hard carriage return, your next user ID, hard carriage return, next user ID, on down. And you simply save that as a text file. So once you have that saved, and, and we typically what we'll do is we'll just go through and take the time out. You can get a hundred of these in maybe an hour, but it is time consuming. And we have a faster, as you uh, mentioned, Sue, let me don't save this. We have a faster, better, more elegant way of doing so. And I might as well get right into showing that now. Uh, let me get rid of the screen share. So we can create a text file like I showed and or like I described rather since it didn't show and upload that as a custom audience and this is the why we need the the Chrome power editor Facebook power editor because it allows us to create that file and then upload it to a specific audience this red hot targeted audience. What I'm gonna do now though is I'm gonna show us how to do this in a far faster, simpler manner. And that's through the use of a piece of software that we call Social Lead Freak. And this software does have a cost to it. It's, uh, I think it's like $97, but you think about it for $97, you get access to literally billions of potential clients like this. I'm gonna show that process now. And I'm hoping when I go back to screen share, let, let me first launch this uh, software here and I'll go back to screen share and here we go we should be able to see this okay this is called social lead freak and just for those of you that are curious you'll see on this Google hangout page where you're watching this page live it says today's bonus uh, learn more I don't want you to go there now but if you click on that learn more link it will give you a, a special reduced rate uh, link directly to the site where you can uh, invest in this killer software which I have done it's called social lead freak and it's going to do this process in a, a, a simple heartbeat of time so I have purchased and downloaded. I'm going That's to. That's crazy. I mean, how does everybody not know about that? That sounds like, you know, so much, you know, saves everybody so much time. Why wouldn't everybody be doing that? You know what? It's just like anything else. People don't know about it. And when you're the, the guy making the software, you wish the world did know about it, but uh, you just don't have the bucks to market it. And the people that are in the know learn it quick and they bank it and bank it and bank it until everybody starts using it so I urge everybody to really you know get in on this now because this will get overused in time like anything on the internet you know how time flies and uh, what happened three weeks ago is stale and uh, I think this is going to be around for a while though because it's just so powerful well, uh, 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 what if people don't get annoyed at getting these ads because they're getting things that they're not asking for? Is there? Yeah. So anytime you receive an ad that's in your Facebook feed, if you go to the top right of that ad, you can click on it and say, "Don't show me ads from this individual anymore." So if you are the recipient, like I was, you saw Frank Kern put his uh, post right in my feed. I happen to, you know know and like Frank Kern so I don't mind seeing what he's doing it helps keep me sharp but if I were offended by it or didn't want to see it I could say stop showing those ads so as a user I have that control alright so I'm gonna go ahead and show this software I'm gonna activate it and when you first go in you'll see that I need to log into Facebook so I'm just gonna tell it to log me in and it has done so and now this is just absolutely amazing you could just Sue, I know, and Gail, you guys quickly and everybody on this webinar have their brain around how long it might take you, even if you outsource this, to build uh, 10,000 potential leads and clients. Well, watch how simple this is with Social Lead Freak. I'm going to click on the Groups tab here, and this software does a lot more than just mine Facebook. It'll also do some uh, mine events, places, pages, posts, people convert activities, but we're not going to focus on that for this particular exercise. We're going to just go to Groups, and I'm going to do the same thing I did within Facebook. That's just my keyword, and I'm going to type Search. And this is so unbelievable. I mean, I just can't believe that, that this software exists. 
this is showing me a list of every group on Facebook and it's going to tell me exactly how many engaged users are in that group. Again, it's not telling me how many people like the group. It's going to only show me members that are chatting, contributing, engaged. So here's an open group. The question mark, by the way, is a closed group. So if you wanted to join that group, you'd need to go to that group on Facebook, request that you join the group, and once approved, when you come back in this software, it would have an icon that looks like this uh, husband-wife team here, as I call this icon. So let's say I want to mine every user of the fitness and modeling uh, for females and males. I'm going to click on that link. It sniffs through this thing, and look at this. It's showing me, see if I can, I can't make that larger, so hopefully you can see that there on your side. It's showing me that there are 4,730 members. Here are all of their face shots, and all I need to do to get their user IDs is to click on Extract. I just name this file. I'm just going to name it Members 1 for quick, and I click Save. I just so built... I just so, built a file of 4,700 engaged user IDs in a Facebook group. I mean, that's insane. That, what if you want to just um, localize your group, make it just someplace um, small group, not nationally? What if okay, just Gail, that's a great question. So I know that you're involved with yoga. You're a yoga expert there in Maryland, uh, D.C. So let's just go ahead and type in... Uh, We'll type in Fitness Maryland and see what we get. We'll go to search. And you'll see we get to a dance fitness holistic studio. It's called Maryland Studios, and it's 529 members. Here's Zumba Fitness with Sheila Suazo in Maryland. It's got 144 members. So all you need to do to go local is just type in a, a, a local of your search and once you click s search it'll show you any result that it happens to find so in when I typed in Washington DC I didn't get anything maybe I try getting rid of that DC and this will probably show me Washington and Washington State but uh, here's Washington Indiana a Zumba Fitness Party House If we went there 156 members so all you need to do for local is just type in the local term and it will navigate you down Great. Awesome. Hey, hey, and Don, yeah. I just want to confirm since you know I'm doing marketing for um, a website that is looking for uh, clients nationally because it's online sales. I just want to confirm what you're saying is we can go through these groups and it doesn't really matter. And for my particular uh, business, um, it doesn't matter if they're local or not local. I literally can just pick on the group and then extract all 4,000 names that are in or all or 4,000 IDs is basically what you're saying if I find the group that I'm interested in with engaged? That's correct. It's just wow. that simple. And I'm going to continue on to show you, Gail and that's Sue, how crazy. you do It really is. It's such a leg up on the competition. It, that's it's unbelievable. It's, it's, it's a truly amazing. unfair advantage. And like I said, these large web gurus are doing this, and it's available to everybody with this software. It's, it's really one of the most exciting things that's happened uh, in Internet marketing for a long, long time. So I'm going to... One more question, Don. Is the yes, software... Um, is it an annual fee, or is it once you spend the $97? Because there's going to be groups that pop up after I, I purchase the software. That's right. right. So that's a great question, uh, Gail, to ask. It's a one-time fee for this software, I believe. There are no renewals. Wow. And you can even use it on multiple pages. I think there's an upgrade fee if you want to use it on, on as a, a, you know, in business where you're doing this for multiple companies across the board. But for a private user, uh, I believe it's only 97 bucks. That's so great. it just couldn't be a, a, a better deal. So I'm going to go through back, go here back to share my screen and just show this. I want to build uh, some lists very quickly, show yeah. the process. Don, are you going to show us how to actually take these names and then put an ad, like how easy it is to take the ad and put it, put it in front of these new people that we've just found? Absolutely I am. So let's go ahead. I've gone to this group, Fitness, Nutrition, and High Intensity Training. Look at this, another 4,667. I'm going to extract them and call them members 2 and save. And now I'm going to go to Fitness Q&A. 
There's another 1,400. I'm just going to grab another 1,400 members' IDs. Thank you very much. Uh, here's fitness inspiration. And by the way, this can work for any industry. I see there's a question uh, posted on the, the Hangout page here. Will this work for any industry or work for all businesses? And yes, this will work. You could put in toys. You could put in... Uh, iPhone 5S, whatever you're looking for, you can find uh, specific individuals. Here, I'm going to get greedy. I, or, or, you know, I usually look at 545 members, and I say, "Oh, that's not like 5,000." So I'm not. I wouldn't want to take it. But imagine how long that would take me to build if I did that uh, manually. So I'm going to take everything I can get here. And maybe fitness or bond in Romania, I might pass by, and some of these obvious. Uh, sites that are not US based I might if, if I'm global of course I'd keep them but if they're uh, international maybe I wouldn't here's a vegan bodybuilding and fitness uh, let's see they've got another 4800 members so you can see the value of this how quickly I am finding uh, highly engaged users in a, I mean, how long have I been at this? Truly, short of the explanations, uh, less than a minute. Here's another 4,500. I'm going to save those as some. So I've got a, I've, I've got about. Uh, oops, I've got to rename this something else. I'll name that seven. I've built thousands of uh, leads now, highly targeted leads because these again are not just Facebook likes. So now that I've got that all built, I can have, I can just close out my software. It's done its job for me. Okay, and I noticed that a lot of the, the screenshots here wasn't showing the actual extraction saving process. So what I'm going to do is, for in this case, fitness, nutrition, and high-intensity training, I can see there's 4,666 members. I'm going to click on extract, and Social Lead Freak is going to ask me to name this file. This is my sixth one. So I'm just going to save all of these files. I'll go through here, fitness Q&A. There are 1,400. This didn't show before. Now you can see pop up the saving of the file. So I'm going to click on save that. And that is the completion of the process. That's the save dialog box that wasn't showing up in the earlier on the earlier Hangout screen. So you will get a dialog box up there. You'll want to save each group as a unique file. And I've got them being saved to my desktop. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our Facebook page and this is the page that I had set up and I'm going to drive traffic to this post here. I'm going to use this as my promoted post. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to, again I'm using Chrome, and I'm going to click on my ads manager. If you don't see this in your left hand side, you'll just want to go to facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash manage. And that'll take you directly to the page where you can get to right here. This is your ads manager. You're going to have your account name here and all of this stuff over here. Don't really pay attention to this right hand side right now because it'll be a little confusing as I have a bunch of paused and active ads running right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here where it says Power Editor and I'm going to click on that link. Now if this is your first time going, uh, if you didn't already have Power Editor, you're going to get a, a uh, dialog box up here saying, that it requires Chrome and would you like to install now and you're just going to accept that and it will install the power editor once it's fully installed then you'll just simply click on the link as you saw I just did which is right here power editor once it's installed you're going to see what I see here we're going to upload those audiences that we saved those tens of thousands of people that we saved that are highly highly hot targets high hot targets for our industry we're going to now create those audiences so what we're going to do is we're going to go here where you see audiences and again you can only do this in Chrome it's the only browser that allows us to use this power editor feature that allows custom audiences and you'll see I've got a bunch of custom audiences in here already what I'm going to do is go up here where it says create audience I'm going to click on that and you'll see custom audience I'm going to click on custom audience 
It's asking us to name the audience. I'll just name this fitness targets. This is never going to be seen by anybody, by any of your uh, Facebook people. This is just for your reference, that name. You can put a description. I typically don't. And now we're going to choose a file. And I save these to my desktop. You can see they save by default as members. I, I named it members one, members two, members three. Let me move this over here. Members four, members five, all the way through. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose this file. I'm going to click on open. And you do have to do these one at a time, unfortunately. But you can see it has members1.csv loaded up in there. And it, by default, it has emails selected. I'm going to always choose UIDs, user IDs. So make sure you always click on user IDs. I'm going to click create. And you'll see there it was very briefly. It says 4,500 members were just added. Uh, and now they're saying there's a problem. We'll get this fixed as soon as we can. I'm going to go ahead. And now that I've got these fitness targets in here, I'm going to click on add users. I don't need to continue to create new audiences. See, I've got a bunch of audiences here. I'm just going to add to this fitness targets targets list of, of uh, audience members. So I'm going to click add users. And I'm going to choose the file again. Notice it didn't ask you to rename it. And I'm going to click open. And I'm going to click user IDs and click add. It says 4,400. Your audience has been uploaded. It may take up to an hour. So I'm just going to continue to go through this process. Add users, choose file. Here's the third one that I uploaded. And I'm not going to do all these now just for time's sake, but you get the idea. You just go through all of, there's another uh, 4,700. I'm going to click here, add users, choose file. So you're going to do this for all of these .csv files for each one that you extracted from Social Lead Freak all the way up until the very last one and choose user IDs and click add. There's 4,200 user IDs and it'll take up to an hour. So you'll see right now this is loaded up with about 10, maybe 20,000 uh, targeted user IDs. It doesn't show me a size and it says status is waiting. That is normal. So you just wait, 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 wait. It takes about an hour. And the way that you're going to up, or I'm sorry, the way that you are going to refresh this, you don't just go up here to your browser and click this little refresh. That doesn't do it. What you want to do is click on the download button here. And that is going to basically download you can kind of see uh, or view as an update. So I'm going to click on download. I always leave this checked all my accounts and include pages for logged in. Just leave this alone and click download. And you can just click continue and it's going to upload everything here which is uber cool. And I can see that my fitness targets is loaded and now marketable to in that short period of time even though it told me an hour I uploaded uh, 9600 is an under fitness folks which I did during the webinar and I just did another 15,000 uh, just now in front of you so we've got a total of what uh, 25,000 uh, people to market to how cool is that by the way all right so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to campaign let's see we're going to go to active campaigns down here and you'll have a zero here I've got one active campaign running right now for something else but it's going to be very simple we go to active campaigns and you'll see up here at the top it says ads I'm simply going to click on create ad okay now I'm going to come down here you can see my the steps that I'm going to be going across it says add name and I'm just going to name this anything I want fitness ad about my post okay so you see how simple this is nobody sees this this is not a headline this is just for what is going to go right up here when you're referencing your ad okay now this is important under add types we're gonna click on this drop down and we're going to say add and what we're going to then select is for a Facebook page using a page post, which that's what we're doing. We're uh, promoting a post. 
and it already has selected my fitness guru page that I selected earlier. And you can see it's showing me what it's going to look like on my news feed and as a right column ad. And see what's so cool about this is we already created this post earlier and it automatically puts in a title here and the text. It's just repurposing your post information. So that is really, really cool. And uh, it's selecting our latest post, which is great. If it didn't, all of the posts that you created are going to be in this drop down. So you could select an earlier post if you had a bunch of other earlier posts that you wanted to use. But we're going to use this one because we used it specifically for this ad. Remember, we put this kind of funny picture in, which is going to be liked, shared, and commented on. And we've got our link that takes one to our website, which is very cool. And I'm going to leave alone this converge, conversion tracking for now. And I don't typically want my ad to show up on a right column. These are over to the right hand side of your Facebook page. These don't get clicked very well. They're, they're pretty good for branding if all you're out to do is brand. I know that a lot of gurus use them, but I have my, most of my success with this desktop news feed ad so I'm just going to stay with that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say news feed desktop and mobile and what that does now is it's going to get rid of the right column ad it will not appear there I'm only going to advertise my post and that's the best anyway because that's what shows up in one's um, one of these target user IDs feed it's a lot of real estate it shows a large picture and you just can't escape it all right, I'm going to go ahead and sit and leave all mobile devices as well. And you'll see right now it updates it that 150 million people are going to see this ad. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on the audience tab up here. And I could say I want this to be United States. I typically also add the UK if I'm global. I'll add Australia if I'm global. And I will add... Uh, Canada if I'm global if I'm not global I'll go ahead and leave these leave this as US and if I'm local I can select by city and enter a city name and then tell it by how far away here I'm in Newport Beach California and there's there I am I can say only show this to folks within 50 miles of my radius so that's truly local. Uh, how cool is that? Or I can just do it by zip code and only show this to folks within my 92660 zip code. Uh, that's, I mean, you just can't get any more targeted than this, folks. Now, what this is going to do, though, this is going to, remember, we're going to upload a custom audience. So it's going to really uh, narrow down your numbers. I'm going to show you how to do that now. I'm going to go to advanced and type in custom audience and all I need to do is type the first few letters and of the name of that custom audience and you'll see here they appear so I'm gonna just load up fitness targets and fitness folks I'll put fitness targets and now I'll type in fitness folks and that's really cool and that will slowly update and I'm going to keep this uh, as an interest to men and women all I don't care what their relationship status is and I'm don't care what their education status is and then the next thing I'm going to do is go to optimization and pricing and I always go to a cost per click model right now by default it's optimized cost per thousand that's what the M stands for and they're going to charge you uh, you know let's see what they're gonna charge you for I don't, can't see what they're going to charge you for that cost per thousand. Let's see, it might show up here. But I always go cost per click. I think that that's the best way to go. I put a standard 20 cents per click in. That's not necessarily what you're going to pay. But that's what I'm just telling you I'm willing to pay. And so I've got that defined in there. I've got my creative, the post. Everything is set up in here. Make sure my audience, yes, it's in there advanced there's my custom audience so what I could do is I could say 
out of all these fitness folks and fitness targets, I only want the individuals that are in those groups and in my zip code or in my city. So you'll see that the number down here is definitely going to change. Right now we, uh, by city, I'm, I'm, or I had it in by zip code, by my 92660, and it took those, those tens of thousands and limited down to 3,800. So now it's only going to 3,800, but hey, that's still great because there's 3,800 people within my zip code that are in those groups that are commenting on those pages that are now going to see my ad. I'll take that in a heartbeat. So once that's all done, all you need to do here is click on this upload button. You click upload and there it says one of one ads, ads done and close. And you're gonna see it is now here, 20 cents a click. And you see a little clock here. That means that that ad is pending. As you can see, I just moused over it and it shows pending. All you need to do to upload this is to come in and click download leave those defaults come through again and typically in about uh it's usually about an hour sometimes less you'll see that it has a green arrow by it which means it is now active all right so you can see i just refreshed this and of course there very little time went by so it's still pending but i would say in about an hour or so when i come in here to my power editor and i click download and go through this process of clicking download again Again, I don't expect for it to change. It'll still be pending, but uh, in about an hour's time when I do this activity, it will be live. Now, what's really cool is once it's live, you can click on that ad and you can go to your campaign dashboard and it'll show you exactly what's going on with that ad. So this CrossFit webinar that I'm doing, I've had 26,000 impressions, I mean it's been it's been showed that many times. I've had 1,365 actions. Look at this. 1,211 clicks and it cost me $117. I mean that is as cheap as it can possibly get. That is just so so cool. And here are uh some additional specs on it. 505 post engagements. I've had uh, 415 clicks, a click-through rate of 2.5. Anything above one is phenomenal. Uh, this is just super, super great. So uh, this uh, technique is proven to work. It's super inexpensive to, uh, to run these ads. I'm telling it that I will be willing to pay a dollar per click, but look at my average price per click, 16 cents. So I showed you to go in here and uh, offer 20 cents a click. You'll find that even when you offer 20, you might be getting these clicks for a nickel or a dime. And that is the way you want to always do that. Now, let me show you one other thing that I, it's a rut and I do not want you to fall into this rut. This is super important. There is a way that you could promote a post. I'm just going to go to my Facebook and I'm going to go to a recent post. One of my dear beloved friends recently passed away and we had a memorial for her and it was beautiful. And let's say I wanted to use this as a promoted post. Well, Facebook has a promote button right here. And when you click on this, you're gonna think that it roughly does the same thing as a Facebook ad. It does not. Do not ever use the promote post to advertise uh, in Facebook ads. This is a sucker's punch. When you click on that promote post button or any, any other means than the power editor, Facebook is going to charge you almost quadruple per click what they would normally charge you. And you absolutely will just lose if you go that route. So please do not use any other means than the power editor from within your ads manager, power editor right here in order to uh, advertise a post. All right, so that's really important. Now there's one other thing that I wanted to show you that I told you if you stuck around to the end, I would promise to show you. And that's that 
if you wanted to put an ad directly in front of a single individual, you could absolutely do so. There's somebody that I have really wanted to get an ad in front of, and it's this individual right here. And so what I would do is I would grab her complete Facebook username, and then I'm going to go to the Find My User ID and pop her in here and look for the numeric ID, and there it is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a text file. Let's see if I can show you this right now. Just like I did manually for the others. I can't use Power Editor to do this right now, but I'll create a new one here, a new text file, and I'm going to pop that in there. Whoops, I got to grab her user ID. Let me do it this way. I'm going to copy that, and I have that pasted into this untitled text file and I'm just going to save it and I'll just save it as hot target dot txt and save that to my desktop so then when I come into the power editor here I'm going to go to audiences create audience custom audience and I'm gonna call this my hot target and I do this for really high dollar individuals where if I close a sale, I did this recently, I closed a $20,000 sale. It was worth the free zero click that I uh, paid for it. I'm going to choose the file. There's my hot target.txt. I'm going to say user ID and create. And so it uploaded that hot target. It'll be available in an hour. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to come in, I'm going to say, Let's find, uh, her name is Letty Glazer, so I'm just going to Google for Letty Glazer. This is a great technique. And here's a picture of her. So I'm just going to take like a screen capture. I'll just go like this, take a screen capture. Now I've got that picture. So I can very easily now go in. I'm going to go to my fitness guru page. I'm going to create a new post, say, hey, call me so I can teach you the magic tactic in Facebook ads. And see, I'm going to say, call me. So what I do is I leave my phone number here, and by doing so, she won't even click it. She's going to call me direct. She's going to be blown away when she sees that I've added a photo of her. I'm going to click on photo, upload photos. I'll just choose the file. You see, anybody can do this. This takes zero computer skills. Now I'm going to post it. Now check this out. There is her picture. I mean, is that going to just blow her away when in her newsfeed she sees uh, an ad that says, hey, call me so I can reach you about the magic tactic and Facebook ads. She's going to say, how in the heck did he get m a picture of me on my feed and talking to me personally? I could have even made this more compelling by saying, hey, Letty, call me and put her full name in there. How cool would that have been? And then run that ad. And that is, I'm, I'm telling you, that technique alone, sending it to a single powerful individual that's holding a lot of cards that can benefit your business is an awesome technique. So again, my name is Don Bassler. I did not fully introduce myself when I started out this webinar. I apologize. We had some technical issues, but uh, I am a long time uh, internet marketer. I was on the internet in 1995 coding pages uh, by hand and I now help others monetize their uh, social media whether it be LinkedIn, Facebook or YouTube and uh, I have a, frequently teach at USC in their entrepreneur program. I teach website design, search engine optimization and all kinds of other fun multi uh, tasking in internet marketing. So that's our seminar for today. I thank you for your patience with us, and I know that you're going to absolutely slay it. You're going to add thousands of new 
uh, tens of thousands of new leads and I'm sure thousands of new clients to your businesses. And I didn't even mention how wonderful it is that doing these promoted posts, one of the real beauties of it is that you're going to get so many likes, comments, and shares. People are going to see your cool pictures and they're going to share it. They're going to make comments and all of those things build to make your uh, business all the more powerful. So be sure to grab that software, that Social Lead Freak software. It is super, super beneficial. All you'll need to do is click on today's bonus to get the special discount. Click on the Learn More button and you'll be taken to the sales page and enjoy that software. It is worth its weight in gold and absolutely essential to the marketing success of the big boys. So it's now available to you. Good luck with it. Let us know how it works. And thanks for joining us today. Okay, we'll okay. look forward to it. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.